Bravo 1 is in position. Engage all hostiles. Start the clock. We've got an empty hole here. Target's escaped. Mission over. Bravo 1, exfil back to HQ. We'll debrief you on the way. What's up guys, Jake with TN Tactical coming at you with a special video today. We've got a special treat for you today. We are talking about something a little bit different than we normally do on the channel. You may have noticed I look a little bit different. Maybe it's my haircut, maybe I've lost some weight. But you're probably thinking, why is he wearing these sunglasses? Well, the truth is, guys, I have gotten my eyes lasered, so I have to keep them protected, at least for the next 48 hours while I'm outside. Speaking of lasers, that's gonna be the topic of what we're discussing today. We are looking at the Mantis X Blackbeard X dry firing system. Now, full disclosure, I need to let you know that no money was actually transferred between us or Mantis X to review this product. However, they did send the product out to us for free to review on the channel. For that, we are very grateful. And that being said, we are going to remain as unbiased as we can and truthful as we talk about this product. So let's get right into it. What is the Blackbeard X and why would you consider getting one of these? Recently come out just a little while ago by Mantis X probably one of the best dry fire products I've seen for AR-15s. This is the only one I've seen that has all the features that you can get in one system. It's almost like two systems in one. You've got this component here that fits in your magazine. So this component here actually serves two purposes. Number one, it's the main source of battery power for the whole system. And number two is there are actually a lot of gyroscopic sensors in there. They're so precise that as you place it in here and start using the system, it will actually detect how you pull the trigger and how you follow through, and it can pick up the slightest motion that you make with your AR as you're pulling. You didn't like your score, I did like you? My score. I'm gonna aim further down there. Oh. Okay, you ready? Down towards left of that picture on the fireplace. Yeah. You ready? Five shots. You ready? Three, two, one. Oh, I did worse on that. Look at that. Mm. Look at that. Down and to the left, man. It's detecting with motion sensing, I think, in here that how much sway or movement you have and the 200 milliseconds it takes around like either before or after the trigger's pulled. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? Like that's, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. I think it's before. I think that's what it said before. We yes, should try to be better. Mm. I was all over the place. I should probably, see, look, I'm all over the place, but if I take time, let me try. Oh, look, it's adding. No, if you don't restart, it shows you, it stacks them up for you. Where yeah, I know. At. I know. It's stacking up on my shots. So it can show you how much I suck. Support hand pulling. It's, it lays bare all of your sins. All right, so Ooh, I want to do it too. That is huge because a lot of times you may not realize how hard you're actually pulling on your trigger and how what kind of impact that'll have on the direction. So if you go, it can provide you active feedback with the app 
to actually correct how you're pulling your AR for more accurate, precise shots, especially at distance. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. How was that? Now, inside the Mantis X app itself, there's a lot of different scenarios, a lot of different things you can arrange to kind of help Three. practice dry firing. A lot of different scenarios like Come hostage on. and multiple threats, and you even have stuff that's like a dartboard. Like a dartboard and stuff. Oh, that was good. Oh, you go back. Oh! For oh! Up. Oh, he's dead! He's dead! I heard it! I wasn't ready for that one. The thing about the Mantis X system is you can pretty much use any targets you want. And it'll kind of give you the scenario of what you need to actually do, such as shooting at multiple targets so it can detect how much pull you have on your trigger as you're motioning through different objects. It does connect through Bluetooth, of course, to detect all those gyroscopic sensors, which is very nice. So the second component that really stands out to me is this part that looks like the bolt carrier group with the charging handle. You see that in red there. Just to be clear, when this component is actually in, you cannot have any live rounds in the chamber or anywhere inside the gun. It just won't work. So you'll see this actually will give you a laser. So as you see there, and if you can hear it, the second major really cool thing about this is every time you pull the trigger, <laughs> it actually resets for you. It has a very pleasing noise as well when it resets. Now it's not a toy, obviously. Obviously. But, I mean, it, God, just that alone, just being able to have it just reset for you so you don't have to pull a charging handle, keep dry firing, it really makes a world of difference. You wouldn't think so until you actually take it in use for actual practice. So we did a few different drills around our house here. We really were surprised by just how effective this whole system was together. I don't know. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We might have to calibrate. No, it's fine. Ready. Six. Right in the neck. Six. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's pretty rad. So for me, the biggest surprise was the height over bore axis. Obviously, you've got your red dot here and your barrels down here. Normally when you dry fire practice, you don't really take into account the whole idea of how much lower your barrel is compared to where your optic sits until you start shooting in close ranges like we did in these practice scenarios. It, it, it surprised me. I don't know if it surprised you as much as it surprised me, but I, I kept finding myself realizing, oh wait, I'm, I'm shooting too low and having to actually raise my red up above to wherever the intended target was. That became more apparent when we were doing different things like a hostage scenario. I got one on the target. <laughs> oh, somebody killed the hostage. The dartboard and a few of the other programs they had in place to be really helpful in some way. It really helped you line up your shot and realize how much you need to compensate for that high over bore. You mean at distance, like if we were to be at short range or even a longer range, and say you were tuned in to, I don't know what, 100 if, yards. If, if you're, typically you're going to zero around 50 or 100 yards. Yeah. As you come in closer, your red dot is going to start sitting up higher compared to where the bullet will actually impact. Correct. That was a really compelling revelation in which I realized how much I need to compensate in a close range scenario. Yeah, me too. We use the app for different scenarios, but we also just kind of made our own scenarios as we went through the house clearing paper targets. As you can see, we're already just getting all kinds of ideas of stuff we can use with the system in place. Now, obviously, Mantis X app, great for detecting your trigger pull and how you follow through with it. And the Laser Academy app, great for just using those paper targets and to get a good scored, accurate measure of how you're shooting at different distances. Train right. for the situation you expect and even more for the one you don't. How's that for tactical? There's just a variety of different ways you can train with this device. And I mean, again, going back to how it resets for you and fires the laser, it just opens up a whole world of opportunities for you. How much money did we save on ammunition? How many shots were fired? Because the app actually keeps track of that number for you. Probably shot between you and I about five or 600 rounds, just, you know, with oh, at least. simulated shots. Yeah, of course. So that is already saving you a whole ton of money. How much is a round of say two, two, three, or five, five, six right now? United States market's about 50 to 70 cents around the Depending on oh what type of, how many, you know, 
what kind of ammo it is. So we saved and, a few Franklins yeah. that evening. And I mean, we we did for what like an hour or two. Yeah, two, three hours. Yeah, and it was a lot of fun. Going with it, you know? it was a great time, and, and we didn't have to shoot the house. <laughs> Couple other cool features about this. Um, there's a switch right here. You can toggle this little black switch, and it changes the feature of the laser from a you know strike when you pull the trigger you see a brief flash of the laser to an always on feature that shows where you're aiming. Quite useful. There's also an adjustment for windage and elevation in case you need to true your shot in your barrel. Those are both great features to ensure that this is accurate and also ensures the accuracy of your practice sessions. The big feature for me, like I said, is the savings on you know money and access to a firing range. There's not a lot of places for me to go shoot unless I drive for a while. So, you know, Great, great tool for me to get the practice in that I need. Thank you, Mantis X. You can check one out for yourself at www.mantisx. You know what? Thanks, Mantis X. We appreciate it. Does this mean it's time? It's time. Guys, if you enjoy this kind of content, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. Have you picked up a Blackbeard X? I'd love to hear from you. We will see you next time. Ah, oh, it's coming right at me. Special thanks again to... What the f***? Yay, that's street legal. <laughs> Welcome to Tennessee, buddy. Yeah. Woo! That's just something you might see in Tennessee. So anyways... <laughs>